Svetlana, the firefly in the room. guys first of all i'm sorry for the pretty weird angle right now it's still a working hours it's like 10 p.m 10 a.m and it's i think 3rd of december and that's when i decided to start my vlogmas <laughs> because actually i noticed under my previous video that i think one of you asked uh, if i will do vlogmas and i was not sure should i do it or not because it seems like so much work and I just don't have the time you know, to film every day, to edit every day, because life right now is a bit crazy. But I thought why not to just try, you know, and film at least a couple of videos and show you my day-to-day -day life and just maybe that will be interested. I'm not 100% sure because who would be interested in somebody just working, you know, all day long and <laughs> just having some time to herself only after working hours. But we will see. Let's start. So, actually, I don't have much time to chat with you because actually my working schedule right now is insane since Christmas is coming and I work in logistics. A lot of people want their parcels as fast as possible. So, it's really insane right now in my work and I start actually at 7 a.m. and I finish at 6 p.m. kind of most of the time. So I work almost 12 hours and I don't have lunch break most of the time. I actually eat in front of my computer so I can every minute just, you know, answer the email. And right now, while talking, already see that emails are coming to my, you know, uh, computer. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm really sorry if this video will end up a little bit boring, but I'll try my best not to do so. So we'll see how this will go. But right now, let's get back to the work. Okay guys, right now I have a couple minutes spare and I want to show you what I did with my plants that had trips and mealybugs infestation. It was crazy, I was crying, I was drinking. <laughs> but right now I feel kind of over it, I feel like I can do it and thank you so much for all of your comments, who, for the people who tried to help me, who gave me the tips not only via comments but also sent me um, messages and all of this stuff just you know, warmed my heart because it's so nice to see people who care, you know? But anyway, let me go and show you what I did right now. So I just, like I said, used neem oil, I washed all of the leaves, I repotted them into the new pot into the new pots and guess what i found more trips today so yeah <laughs> so right now i will google couple treatment treatments that you sent me via messages via comments but before that i have my plants in quarantine in my really tiny room for you know all this crap <laughs> but let me show you how they are doing but before that i can see my boyfriend coming back home with rocky you want to see him he just went through another dog and my Rocky doesn't flipping care about another dog. He have his own life and his own worries. <laughs> okay, as you can tell it's still snowy. So that's really cute and it's cold outside to be honest, really cold. But okay, let's go and see planes. This is actually a really tiny room for all of the crap that we have to hide from, you know, everybody but I'm showing it but anyway so here are all of the plants that are in quarantine right now you can see my variegated monstera my beautiful philodendron and 
I just yesterday reported them, so I thought that after reporting they should be completely fine, but nope, only while reporting I saw some bugs. So this is not awesome, this is not a happy news, I have some plants in here as well, but anyway. So this is where they are hiding, I have my doors closed, so you know, they have a light, they don't have a humidifier, I'm still working on it, but all in all they have everything they need and they are far away from my other plants, so this is how I'm keeping those. Let me show you the plant that I got a couple days ago and I never and I never showed you. So are you excited? Because I'm excited. Let me show you. Bam. <laughs> so this is actually a cac cacti that I bought from a grocery store. So this weekend I went quickly to the grocery store to grab a couple, you know, casual things. And I noticed that they had a really tiny, tiny section of plants. And actually they never have something really special but this time I saw this beautiful cactus it's pretty big I love how fluffy it is and the spikes are pretty um, they're not that tough you know you can bend them very easily and they just they actually looks like balls <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so sorry but this one just looked so funny for me it's a little bit on the side but all in all, I just loved the look of it. I loved how big it is. And it was only $3.99. How exciting is that, right? So I cannot wait to report it. I'm not sure should I do it right now because I can see the roots coming through the bottom and it's a little bit on the side like this. So I think I should do it. But I used all of my soil for all of the plants with trips. So I need to go and get more, you know? So another update. Beautiful. I think this is either Echinopsis or either Mammillaria. I'm not sure, but I'll Google it. A few moments later. Okay guys, so right now my boyfriend needed to go to the computer and I have like five minutes break and it's around 11 p.m. It's a little bit... <laughs> you cannot leave me alone, can't you? Look at this cute, oh my god. Okay, go. So I have a couple minutes to make a coffee break, which is exciting. I love my coffee breaks. So let's do that. Still I'm using this Thrift at Mug. It's still one of my favorites, hands down. And guys, I actually was a little bit worried to thrift, you know, dishes. Because some other people were eating from them, some other people were using them. But actually, to be honest, the ones the dishes that I thrifted in the, ended up being my favorite ones. So for example, this mug or another beautiful bowl. I mean, they're so unique and so beautiful. So if you're doubting about thrifting dishes, I would totally recommend because it's so fun. And if you wash it really, really, truly, it doesn't bother you. I mean, it was still a little bit weird to eat and drink from them, but after maybe like three times of watching it, I was totally over it. So, <laughs> no tip. So anyway, let's get some coffee. <laughs> right now I can see a construction, construction worker outside my window and I'm living in the sixth floor. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy times. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. So please excuse my messy kitchen, but here is the part of my, you know, kitchen where, where I have a sink and I thought this is a perfect spot for a couple plants. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not closing the microphone. So this is a spot where I have my couple of plants. So this is a Eglonema, right? It's, it's cute. And I have a spider plant. It was such a happy house plant. It was, I mean, it was thriving. But I don't know what's going on, but I cannot keep spider plants alive. I mean, it maybe I will overwater it because I did not see any... Oh, maybe there are trips. Wait. Let me check quickly. Well, no, there are no trips. So, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong because 
It's spider plant. It's supposed to be unkillable, right? It's already like sixth spider plant that I am killing, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get going. Damn. Damn. And yes, I have my teapot on the ground. <laughs> I actually need to buy some kind of shelf or I don't know, something to put it on because this is the empty spot that I could use for my teapot, but I use it for plants. I mean, this one Be behind the pumpkins, but this is where my Hamalonima Maggie is supposed to be, but she has trips so right now, she's in quarantine. Finally, lunch break is here. Emails keeps on coming, but it's a perfect time for survival. So I'll have a break for maybe two minutes, <laughs> and then I'll go back to work because, oh my gosh, it's insane, guys! It's insane. Stop ordering stuff, please. All of us who works in logistics industry, we are. Guys, we are going out of our mind, to be honest. Most of my colleagues actually started to drink medications because it's insane, we cannot keep up with all of you. We're working with trains, ships, you know, airplanes, everything that you could work with, with logistics. And everything is just stuck with all of the cargoes that we have from you, so stop ordering! <laughs> I mean, it's pretty normal because right now, since a lot of countries are in lockdown people are ordering stuff instead of going outside and you know buying themselves so <sighs> guys it's finally 5 p.m and it's time to go and walk rocky and this is his favorite time of the day so let me show you how he reacts oh my gosh words just keeps on coming <laughs> oh but anyway let me show you how rocky reacts when i say that we will go outside just look how dark it is outside already. Rocky, is it Milouka? Is it Milouka? Is it? Baby, is it cold for you? I'm sorry, you're helping, you're helping. Okay guys, I'm really sorry for the horrible lightning, but I'm just... I'm over everything today, guys. This is this was extremely difficult day at work and I did not have too much time to vlog after after my lunch break which was like five minutes long <laughs> so i really feel tired i just walked rock and came back home i thought that i will take a quick quick 
you know, break just in bed for like five minutes, but that wasn't what Rocky planned. <laughs> so right now, actually, I will do lunch because soon my boyfriend will come home and I decided to make a surprise for him and make his childhood... Um, sorry, I'm not making lunch, I'm making dinner. <laughs> It's 6 p.m. already, so so today I will do his childhood dinner that his mom used to do for him. So I hope he will love this surprise. And this is actually really, really easy. And this extremely cheap. And this is from those Soviet times when Lithuanian people could not have too much money to buy food. So they just did the casual, casualest things ever. So this will be one of those. So for, for it you will need flour, salt, egg, water and some meat or some kind of sausage and sour cream. Easy. Let me show you how to do it. If you're interested, I mean, if not, sorry. <laughs> okay. So we have, okay. You won't see my head, but this is not important right now, okay? <laughs> so we have a bowl. We put an egg in it. Easy. Then we take salt. Then we add some flour, mix everything up. Water. So we almost have a pancake dough, right? But that's not what but that's not what we want. We need to add more flour so we can work with this pastry. And right now I need to make sure that it won't stick to my hands, so then I will know that this is the right consistency. Right now we have our dough. Is it dough or is it pastry? What's the difference between dough and pastry? Let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> so right now it's actually almost the same dough or, or pastry, just like you would use for, do for the dumplings. So since we have the pastry right now, I need to cut off small uh, pieces of it. Usually I make hearts out of it with a knife, but since today I'm a little bit tired, I'm not really into it. I'll just cut simple triangles and we will boil them. And that's it. Almost. So, let's proceed. Okay, so right now while the water is boiling, this is everything that I will do with the pastry or a dough. This is everything. So I will wait while the water is boiled, then I will put salt in it and then this tiny dumplings. I don't even know how to call them in English to be honest. And then we will prepare the meat sauce. And that's it. It's been like five minutes. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so let me take care of this spot and let's prepare for the phase number two. So while the water is boiling, it's almost there, let's prepare the meat. And since I just only right now noticed that I forgot to take out the minced meat out of the fridge, 
out of the um, freezer. So since I forgot to take the meat out of the freezer, I need to come up with another idea what could I do and I did. So this is another cheap, another cheap option. So we have a simple sausage. So I'll cut it in tiny squares and I will fry it on my fry, fry pan. Fryer pan or fry pan? And then that will be almost it. So water is almost boiled. Bam. Easy. Then let's take our oil. My fry pan is actually almost hot right now. So, oil inside. Sorry guys, the angles are horrible, I know. Wash your hands after petting your dog. Right? That's it. <laughs> so easy, probably looks horrible, but guys, it's really delicious. It's really, really good. I will talk with you after the day. I'm tired. <clears throat> okay, guys, so I will go and watch some YouTube videos and relax a little bit, eat a little bit, and I will talk with you a little bit later. Okay guys, so I just ate dinner, I washed the dishes and this is it, this is probably where I will finish today's vlog. It's, it's been, it's been a hell of a day guys. I mean probably in the video it doesn't seem like it but I just want to take a nap. And I'm not the person who takes naps to be honest because I just, I, I think it's a waste. Waste of time because I always need to do something <laughs> instead of sleeping so Actually, right now, I will finish this video and go and edit it and I will upload it straight away. So when you see it, it's still today. This is the day that I filmed, so it's almost like a live, no? <laughs> so I hope you will enjoy this part of the video and let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about it? Would you want me to proceed? Because I'm still not sure how it will end up because I never did it. <laughs> so... This is, you know, my day-to-day -day life and it's not as exciting as I would love it to be, but it's still, you know, it still is. So, please let me know, would you like me to continue? And let's chat in the comments, please subscribe to my channel, I'm really trying to reach 5,000 subscribers till the end of the year. And I hope to see my next one. Bye!